So we have not looked at this one, but we'll open this one. I will see inside the sex of this one. So to dissect the fish, we make an incision just a little bit above the cloaca. We make it laterally like that with our scissors. So we make the incision down like this. Then we extend it a little bit to go down. We also extend it a little bit to go down this way. So when we extend it now to go down like that, we cut up in the median. We cut it up in the middle as such, putting our blunt end of the scissors inside and then the sharp end remaining outside. So we cut it up like this till we reach the area where it joins to the gills. So we'll cut up and reach here. We stop there. And then what we can do now is only to increase this, our incision to go down, but being careful not to cut the intestines. So we now open it. So we'll cut it now to go up like that. we we'll now open what we have. We'll open it on two sides and we pin. We pin it like that. Pin it onto the board. So we now pin it onto the board. So these are the abdominal contents of a fish in situ. So as we can see, it's quite simple. So what we need to do here now is simply to first start by displaying the alimentary canal. So we we'll, we'll display the aliment. These are the intestines that we are seeing here. So we we'll display the alimentary canal. And you will note that certain differences that are there. You see that this is the liver. It's quite small, not as big as in birds. And then you see that this one is the stomach. This one here contains some food. These are the intestines here. So I will now display the intestines onto one side. So I can open it up this way. And I bring it this way. I put it onto this side. I open up this one. I make sure it is in the way that it is quite uh, visible. Quite soft. So we should do it with a lot of care. We can cut off and reduce these intestines here because they are very soft. Cut off and reduce it. Doesn't pose any problem if I reduce it. So if I reduce it now, I'll have it look as such. It's a display of the intestines. So here now, I have, this is the stomach that comes down, this is the liver here, the stomach here, this is the liver, then you can see a small spleen here, this part here, the small part here is the spleen, let me add some water, so it's clean, a small spleen here, and this is the stomach, this way, this is the liver, you see that these are already the intestines that come like this. Intestines are not as distinct as those of birds and mammals. So if you were to dis display the alimentary canal of a fish, this is just all you do. You just cut it, pin it like this, and remove like this, and you draw a diagram. This is just simply all that you do. And in such a situation, you draw a diagram that looks like the one we put on the board. We have made this incision. We have cut up this way. We have pinned our side, and then we have displayed the alimentary canal as such. So this is the alimentary canal that has been displayed. So you see the stomach this way, and you can see the, the liver which is there, and you can see the small spleen that is leveled somewhere up there, which we, which we have seen it. These are the gears here. Just simply need to level these parts that are there. This is just all. So it's not quite uh, complicated. So what we are going to do now is, we are going now to some of the fish. We have to remove the alimentary canal because we do not need the alimentary canal. So I will remove the alimentary canal so that we'll see now where the urinary system is. So I'll remove it, move it as such.
This one we are going to display the urinary system. The urinary system of this fish. So this is the swim bladder, this part here. This is the swim bladder here. So when the fish takes up air, this part will be filled with air and the fish will be buoyant. It can float on the water. But when it sends out air, the swim bladder goes down and the fish becomes heavier and will sink to the bottom of the water. So this is the swim bladder and that is why when you stand on the riverside where there are fish in the water, you, you will see the fish constantly coming out of the water and gulping in the air. So when it gulps that air, it goes back into the swim bladder. It doesn't breathe with it. It breathes only using the gills and water. So when we remove the swim bladder, what we just have to see next to it is simply the kidneys. So these ones are just the kidneys of the fish on the two sides, which are lying inside the wound and looking red as blood. These are simply, if you were to display the genital system of the fish, the, the, the urinary system of the fish, you just simply remove all of this part and then remove the swim bladder. When you remove the swim bladder, what you see is just the kidneys. These are just the kidneys like this. And they come and join up here into the anal opening, to the anus here, where you have the anal opening, and then they send out the words. These are the kidneys. That is just all about the, you know, the urinary system. Something that looks like this, this one in the middle. Here. So this is the kidneys that we are seeing here, this one. And this. These are the kidneys that come and join down here. So there's a very small here. This is a very small bladder here, this one. It is called a sedo bladder because it is semi-functional. It doesn't to store much feces. So immediately there's a little bit of feces there, it comes out. So we call it the sedo bladder. So this is all. So what we are to look now in the fish, is to display the genital system, that's the reproductive system. So we are going to use this other fish and we'll see where the reproductive systems are located. In this fish, and we said it was a female. So we are going to remove now these intestines to observe the genital parts, that's the urinogenital system. So I will remove the intestines, these are they. I will remove them. We are done in the other one. Then you see that what we are left with here now, this one, what is here now, these ones are the ovaries, these two, like this. These are the ovaries. So this is, this is the ovary bearing so many eggs. These are the eggs of the fish, like this. So these are the two ovaries. So these ones, are, these are the urinogenital system of a female, these are the genital system of a female, female fish. So this is the swim bladder that we had talked about in the previous one. If we burst it, you see that air will come out. You see? It has come out. You see how it goes down? And then we'll keep this, our oviducts containing eggs here, the ovaries. Keep them on the side here. And then we'll remove the swim bladder. You see that I'm removing and you are seeing the kidneys. Okay? So these are the kidneys down here. So only need to clean it up, clean it up. Even the heart, which is up here, we also remove the heart. Because we do not need it for now. See that these are the urinogenital systems. So we can place these our ovaries this way, so that they are very visible. We place this one, place this one this way. They are very very visible. So we can put them on one side this way like this, so that the kidneys are very visible. So these are the urinogenital system of a female. So you dissect and place like that. You draw, you see that you have a diagram which looks as such. These are the ovaries containing so many eggs, and these are the kidneys. So you have the set of bladder down there, which we have seen. And then if it were a male, you will be able to see the testes. The testes are also as long as the ovaries, but they are very small and whitish in color. So you see that the testes will be whitish, but they will separate, and they are not as big as the ovaries containing eggs. So we will equally draw it, which is like this, which is a male, and as such, which is a female. So this is just all about dissection of fish. What is important is that you should have your fish, you place it, you dissect it first of all, and you draw your diagram to look like what you have dissected. Once you do that, clean up the board, clean your dissection, and you go away, the examiner will always give you your marks. So I hope that this is going to help you improve on.